Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And as you can guess, I'm back down at Painting Classic Cars to see Keith and Brad, who have been working overtime, getting the XJC painted. And it's hiding in that booth in the new green with lacquer applies. I haven't seen it. You're gonna see the moment I see it, the color for the first time on the car. And I just can't wait. Also down there, is the V12 all finished, all come from Tom Lemphel, dressed, beautifully um, finished. I haven't seen that either. And that's hiding under a, a cover as well. So what I'm gonna do now is disappear behind the camera. Keith's in the uh, office at the moment. He's gonna join me and we'll have a look around the engine first and then put the lights on the booth, go in the booth and see the XJC in its new green. And I just can't wait. Well, Keith, great to see you again. And you? And God, you? you've been busy since the last visit on all sorts it's of things. A car. It is, I hear. Oh, there it is, tantalizing, hiding yeah. in that booth. But we're not going to look at that just yet because I want to have a look at the engine and just see what magic Tom has done with this. Well, Tom dropped this off a couple of weeks back. Yeah. Uh, about two weeks now. Yeah. Um, under strict instructions to keep all of our dust off of it. Right. So it's all been covered I up. I promise, Tom, this is the first time it's been uncovered. No, there we go. Goodness me. <laughs> oh, that's mad. That is mad, isn't it? Yeah, My he goodness. knows his way around a V12. He does, doesn't he? I mean, it was such an oily mess when it went down to him. Good Lord, so I'm slightly speechless just looking at the... just looks unrecognisable. Yeah. You've got your different manifolds on there oh, as well. Oh yeah, we, we, I might actually just do it this side because there's, yeah, there's better light. Like, yeah, the tubular manifolds on it. I'm quite, and then they're uh, ceramic coated in, in black as well. So that's all there. My goodness me. That is staggering. That is absolutely staggering. All the linkages, he's, yeah, he's got all the slop out the linkages, hasn't he? Yep, yeah, all new bushes have gone in there. Um, I think we discussed the last time, you've got these little throttle brushes. Down oh, in here, those. yeah, they go like wood, they don't work, they fall apart. You get lots right. of slop, but um, that's all done as well. All, done. all rebuilt all done. injectors as well. My goodness me, and then yeah, new oil cooler on it as well. Yep, uh, cooler pipes as well. He's had those remade. Well, so the radiator sits here, so a huge amount of heat around here, these go really dry and crispy, right? Um, and unfortunately, the early type of oil cooler you can't get them anymore, so he's had to have this remade. And the, uh, and the hose right. is remade. Um, I have to say, I mean, it did, we went deeper on this engine than I was expecting, but that was my choice. Once we'd started, once I'd seen the quality of sort of Tom's work, I just thought to have an engine like this that is better than new, I think, probably, uh, just the way it looks. Well, so, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm sure Tom would agree that this is a complex part. You know, yeah. rebuilding the engine is, is it's not straightforward by any means, but when you no. come into all the detailing, once yeah. you start, you've got to do it all. Yeah, um, and there's 12 of everything, there, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And it really does complete the job. Yeah. Really. No, that so. is absolutely stunning. And <laughs> I just couldn't resist those manifolds <laughs> as well. But the final bill, I mean, you start at 10,000 for a straightforward rebuild. This wasn't quite so straightforward in that the heads, we thought there was, they were actually going to have to replace one of the heads when I was down at Tom's. Yep. What actually happened was when they were taken to the specialist who adds the aluminium to fill in the holes that yep. were appear, apparent from the, the, if you don't change your antifreeze and you don't have protectants for the alloy, these heads were damaged. They thought one was written off. No, the specialist said, I can mend that, and he did. So we didn't actually have to replace the head. So that was one positive. But it was still quite a lot of work. And then I want it dressed basically to concourse standard, as you can see here. And, and that really is where the bills start to, to yeah. grow because yeah. it, it, it's a big lump. Yeah. And there's a lot of little intricate <laughs> pieces to, uh, to get yeah. plated or zinced and it, it, it soon starts to add up. Yeah, but, um, but I am really happy with this. I'm sure and when it's sitting in the engine bay, it'll be money oh, well spent. Oh I, oh, I know it is. And with the, you say, we've redone the radiator. We've done that to three cores, so a higher spec. Yeah. Um, so all in, you start with a £10,000 potential to do an engine rebuild, but not rebuild the injection systems and stuff like that, just the base engine. You add on £1,200 worth of manifolds, 560 of um, ceramic coating, um, high-grade radiators, rebuilt injection systems, 
Oh, all sorts of trying to think what else went on. This is new, isn't it? The um, Crenshaw damper. Crenshaw damper. damper. Yeah, yeah. As you say, the pipes, bespoke pipes, and the oil cooler. You then get to a seventeen thousand pound bill. Or Unfortunately, something like that. it kind of creeps up on you as well yeah. because as you go through that list, there's lots of parts there. You think, well, that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. No, it's one of those. But then when you put it all together, yeah, well, you've got. You might want to be sitting down. And to that seventeen thousand, you also have to add VAT. Yep. And yep. so you're looking at a £21,000 rebuild, but you will have a Concorde standard V12 engine that is just stunning. Well, great to see. You know what the next stage is? <laughs> it's to go in the booth and oh, see you don't the want to car. Do that yet, do you? I want to see in there. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, can't wait. Go on, let's go do it. Yeah? yeah. Let's go. What time did you finish last night, Brad? Um. Late. Yeah. yeah. I probably got out of here at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock last night. About oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. If you go in. Yeah. Yeah, we're going into the dark, are we? Right the full dark. dark. All right. Really. So this you started adding colour to yesterday morning. Um, I'd right? say yesterday, twelve o'clock, midday-ish. Midday. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, sort of seven-hour process. God. I can't imagine the excitement after <laughs> doing it. I mean, you know, especially unique colour as well and all yeah. the rest of it. Yes. It's great for a long time. <laughs> yes. Great for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yeah? Right. Here yeah. we go. So we put the lights on. Poor camera's struggling to focus in here because it's a bit dark. Go for it. Here we go. Whoa! Now it's My about goodness it. me. My goodness me. Look at that. It's. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just as I wanted to see the green. Well, I can't, it's just unique green, isn't it? That's the bizarre, you think you've seen every green, and then you see this. It is unique, there's a lot of, God. it's the gold in it, isn't there? Yeah, there's something. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I don't know how well that picks up on the camera. I know a lot of people have commented how very similar it is well, to a load yeah. of other colours, and it is. Yeah. There are similarities, of course there are, there's only so many ways you can do green. <laughs> Yeah. But there is, there is a lot of different colour yeah. bouncing off of it, which uh, yeah. hopefully the camera is picking up. Well, it certainly will if we get a chance to push well, it outside, but it's, yeah, it's not the greatest of weather today yet again, so we're actually going to get proper sunshine. Wow, we. There's so much car, isn't it? You must love it that I haven't got a vinyl roof on it, because then you've got to do all the roof as well. Look at that. There's no light actually on top of the car, so it looks slightly dark up there. Yeah. But no, I really, I mean, it's just the, it's just it's such a lovely awesome. dream. I, it's just the paint finish on it, I can't get it. So this has had a lacquer on it. Yeah. Right? But you're saying you're not stopping with this one lacquer. You're going another stage. Yeah, with CSR Clip Out, they offer a premium, uh, premium finish, which basically means you you wet sand this back with a fifteen hundred grade, get rid of yeah. any imperfections that are in the lacquer that's sitting on top, and then yeah, basically what's called a flow coat. So you get two two extra coats of the CSR over the top, which will wow. give it yeah immense depth, even more depth. Yeah. Wow. So um, the colour is finished. All we're now saying yeah. is with the lacquer finish. The lacquer on top. Yeah. I say because it has three coats, you know, it does go on quite, quite, quite thick, but it does flow out, flow out really nice. The, the, you know, the benefit of doing the two coats next time would just be two wet coats, and it'll be glassy and even more wow. depth. Wow. Um, but, I mean, this is a finished, a finished job. You know, it, it, yes. It, 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 this could go out the door, and you know, plenty of jobs will go out. This is a gun finish, so we normally go over, tickle a few bits off, and just flatten and polish. In yeah. areas, um, the process that Brent's just explained is an additional, which just yeah. gives it even more depth. Um, yeah. Which will, on some colours, that'll be a waste of time. Yes. Because you can only get so much, but with the complexity within this colour, the extra couple of coats on there will really get some uh, get some more depth. To get the depth to it. I just love that green. <laughs> so silly. Good. But uh, yeah, and, and you, well, we'll go out and have a look at the doors and the bonnet in a moment, but you do those separately. And yeah. I'd just be spooked that I wasn't going to get the colour match, but you, you're not spooked by this at all. No, I'm not so spooked. Um, no. 
some some jobs we do do that. We do hang the doors, especially more so on cars that are just having blowovers on the outside, and you haven't got to go into the door shuts and things like that. You could just yeah. close off the car. Um, but something like this that's having inside of doors done, all that sort of stuff, underside of the bonnet, underside of the boot lid. I can do panels separately. Yeah. Um, I've never had issues with colours. And the system no. is so clever. Yeah. yeah. It, it, as we were saying earlier, if we, if we have even half a gram too much of one of the tinters, the computer yeah. will tell us. Half a gram, it's down yeah. to that accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll instantly recalculate so we can go back in to, to top the colour up to get it exactly where it needs to be. So we do get the consistency every single time. I, uh, that's staggering. But uh, oh, it's so nice to see after all the world of pain that you've been through, <laughs> you know, Keith, and all that grinding and rust, and oh, there's another sort of cavity that we didn't expect. Yeah, one of those nasty vocals. Yeah. Oh, I've just found something else. But you're going to fit the engine now, then, while the wings are on yep. and things like that. Yep. That's the plan. The, the least amount of freshly painted bodywork we have around when dropping. Yeah. Them. One of the next jobs for the shell now is it goes over the trim shop and gets your headlining done. Because um, it's empty at the minute, so we can get in and, and they can just right. trim that and we'll get right. the engine and gearbox in. So it, this will start to come together now while Brad carries right. on with the panels. Wow. Well, I'm more than happy with the colour. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, overjoyed at the, the depth of the green. The, the, the fact that it's a unique green doesn't look standout green doesn't look odd no just looks a really nice colour yeah. Um, well, it's exciting, a bit of chrome to it as well to bring it yeah. to life in a, in a different way again yeah God, it's so really good. I can't believe you can't see a ripple or anything when I know what that wing here has gone through <laughs> oh, it's just extraordinary and it's under here as well. How do you get it so smooth under there? <laughs> These are the bits I shouldn't be looking at. If I was, if I was spraying, a lot of laying down. <laughs> oh, you, you actually spray this line down. Yeah, the and, and, stuff. and all the rubbing down as well. All the all the, all the priming, yeah. all the blocking, all gets done. You know, laying, laying down. And actually, on the floor, or up on the, or up on the little scissor lift that we've got. Good um, lord! So I can look under here, and it's sort of yeah. So you don't ever think of a rotisserie though? That's one step too far. No, no, it would be nice. It would be nice. Yeah? Yeah. To do a yeah. rotisserie. Yeah, yeah. definitely, if you, especially because you could attack, you know, bottom of the car first and you were going to raptor it and things like that and get all that sealed off. It would yeah. be... It's it would on your agenda. Nice. It is something we would definitely yeah. like to invest in. This is a door shut that no one will look at, but the finish is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's very close to that. It is. I, 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 yeah, it is close. Sure that this is the that Aston colour on the on configurator. The yeah, I think how this it was it should have looked without it looking too black. Yeah. Um, Maybe they will borrow it. <laughs> Maybe I'll. <laughs> that would be a, You're going to send I'll, the colour to them. I'll lend them. Here, here's, yeah. here's the colour. Here's a new colour for you. Oh, that's mega. That is absolutely mega. I tell you what. While we're, I'm here, I wouldn't mind just having a quick look at the doors and bonnet, just yeah, to stay yeah, there. At. I mean, of course. Yeah. It's just so nice to see. Ah, there they are. So here's the other bits that aren't quite so green. Not quite so green yet. No. Um, these are now in the early stages. So as we went through the body when you were last down, we've got the yeah. epoxy base. Oh right. So okay. that, that underneath this is your bare metal. So you've got the epoxy base on here. Right. Now we're just doing the leveling work over the repairs because we put a strip all the way through there. Okay. So we're now just leveling out the weld. Right. The wings there, we've had those those all done and repaired. The level. What was the repair on that? I can't remember. Uh, what? This had. Oh. It's yes. had previous repairs around here, which we've tidied up and made good. Yeah. And then we put sections in the bottom of both the both the wings. Right. Well, there's a bit in the middle I don't recognise. Don't know what that is. That bit there is your front lower balance. So oh, between the, the wings. Oh, okay. That would be down the bottom between the wings and you've got the bumper goes across here. Uh, oh, I so that, see. That and was that black on yours originally. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Was that yeah. replacement panel. Yeah. Okay. So this, you don't, what, I call it filler, but you don't call it filler, do you? No, 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 it, it, is, it is filler. Yeah. Um, people quite often get scared when they hear the word filler because yeah. the amount of MOT stations yes. that have uh, <laughs> got the car through the MOT with a pot of filler. filler. But yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with filler when it's used in the right place. Yeah. This is just for leveling out Absolutely leveling on repair out. work. Um, yeah. Cause at the minute you've got a nice weld going all the way through there. Yes. And that's um, how you do it. And that's how you do it. Yeah. 
as you're doing here. I see you're in the middle of another one here, aren't you? Yeah, you do give yourself a chance, <laughs> don't you, doing jaggers of it. Uh, they keep us busy. Yeah. They do keep us busy. But, um, yeah. So the next stage with these is once, this, once the shape is correct on these, we'll then put them into the polyester. Right. Uh, then they get the isolator primer and into colour. So Brad will be on these for the rest of the week, pretty much. So right. hopefully, latter part of next week, these can be seen some colour as well. There's the bonnet. I'm just looking. Oh, there's a big, yeah, there's a big down there as well. as well. They're all these. Are, these are remarkable because we know now know it had a front end shunt, so it's yeah. not an original yeah. bonnet. But it's. I don't know. The, the original owner got got in touch, didn't he? Um, I can't remember. He, he was hitting marinas. I think he said he hit them twice. I think he was really annoyed. Someone lost it in front of him, didn't he? Yeah, and he that's it. tapped it. That's it. And that's what the accident was. So frustrating. The one place, one time. Day. All this yeah, history coming out. Coming out to this yes. poor Jaguar. Which is but great. It really is good. So your next stage is then, obviously Brad's going to be working on these. Yep. Are you, when are you going to start putting engine gearbox together and that side? Engine and gearbox will probably go in there next week. Um, as in, right. just in into position. Um, right. Tom's going to come down when we're ready to fire the car up. So he's going to do some wiring and be down here for yeah. the start up. Um, that's his baby, so yeah, we'll let him do that He wants to bit. be there for that bit. Uh, so yeah, engine and gearbox should be next week, and the latter part of next week, the car should be going off to the trimmers to get the headlining done. So it's not getting interior next week? It's not won't get the that. interior next week, but the headlining will be. Right. Will be next week. So, um, and then what we'll do is we'll start building up the rest of the car, we can start trimming it, exterior chrome work and so on. Right. Um, leaving Brad alone to get these as good as the body is. Right, so another month, this car will be looking like, like a complete a car. car. Yeah. 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 Oh. Our only slight question mark yeah. is this wiring loop. Oh no. That's going to that be our. So frustrating. It, it really is. It really is. We're, but, we're looking at probably three to three and a half months still before the wiring loop is And here. we ordered that and paid for it in March, at February? March, yeah. February, March? Yeah. Well, we are in July, yeah. so. That's not good, is it? That's it's, yeah, it's not good. Four month, that's eight um, months wait for a wiring loom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 fairly comprehensive. It's no yeah. five minute task. No. So we're gonna but have a we are disappointed. Yeah, we're going to have a complete car without a wiring loom yeah. then in a yeah. month's time. Yeah, and the problem with that obviously is the wiring loom will prevent us having a complete car because there's lots of bits that need to retain, yeah. remain out of the car. To enable the wiring loop. What I couldn't get over is the engine. Tom actually pumps oil around it, isn't yeah. he? He's, yeah, yeah. he's that's all connected. Oil's been pumped. He's, he, he sent me a video. It's got oil pressure on it. Yeah, that's fantastic pressure. I, th I think he was recording 70 psi on crank. On which crack, is just, yeah. just phenomenal. So they spun it. So that yeah. is ready to be fitted, which is a very clever thing. Well, that's brilliant, Keith. Thank you very much Pleasure. for Thank taking you. me around. Thank you. And uh, yeah, can't wait to the next visit. You see the It'll next all green. Yeah, all green, even more green. Well, there you go. There's the XJC, which's now finally in the green, this uh, bespoke green that came from Aston. And then we took that sort of slight flip out of it. And uh, my first sight of it, which I am overjoyed with, because it's like a, it's like a green I wanted. It's not an unusual green. It doesn't, it's not a standout, that's a weird green. It just looks a natural green, but you haven't quite seen that shade of green before. Bizarre, really. Um, great to see the amount of progress uh, being made by both Tom and Keith and Brad on this project. So frustrating about that wiring loom, though. The fact that we're going to sit and stare at a car for two or three months, um, waiting for a wiring loom to rock up, even though it was ordered over four months ago, five months ago. But that's frustration sometimes when you're doing these sort of rebuilds. What we're actually going to do now is just move the car, move the engine, move the car, and just see it in daylight, which I'm gonna add just at the end of this video, and then you can see the car a bit more, how it's gonna look under the, in real sunshine, rather than just under the lights of the booth. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, well, keep watching, keep subscribing, more videos coming along very soon.